ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Afternoon Weather Extreme Video. I'm James Spann. This is for Thursday, the 17th of April. Beautiful, spectacular spring day, but the weather will change in about 24 hours. Let's go back this morning and show you some really nice sky cam shots. Uh, the sun coming up over the horizon there. That's the view coming from Hamilton this morning, about 640. And about the same time, we caught that uh, sunrise coming from Coleman, looking back over the eastern sky. Awfully nice. And this afternoon, the sky bright and sunny over West Alabama. There's the view coming from the Tuscaloosa sky cam. Well, ridging going on here. We're in good shape today, but of course, a big trough not too far away out to the west that will impact our weather before the weekend gets here. In advance of that, temperatures are looking good, well up in the 70s at early afternoon. But look at the cold air out there around Denver. They're in the 30s with snow falling back in the Rockies, and uh, obviously with numbers like that, we've got a strong cold front across the nation's heartland. And Got a chance of severe weather in advance of that uh, for the rest of this afternoon and tonight. There's a slight risk all the way from San Antonio and the Texas Hill Country up to near Oklahoma City and Tulsa, pretty much up and down Interstate 35. That includes Dallas and Fort Worth. Tomorrow, just a slight risk over uh, southeast Louisiana and south Mississippi. And again, for us, tomorrow night, severe weather, not especially likely with limited instability in the wrong time of day. And then next week, a severe weather risk, days 5 and 6. That's Monday and Tuesday over uh, Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri with our trough that will be approaching them early next week. Here's the QPF map. This is the expected rain around the country. And, you know, all along we've talked about rainfall between one-half and three-quarters of an inch. That still looks good. In fact, that's what that map is suggesting there. Heaviest rain up in northern Missouri and Iowa. Amounts of 3 to 4 inches likely up there. Here's modeling. This is the 12Z GFS, valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. There's our strong trough out to the west. Another one digging down through British Columbia. In advance of the uh, lead trough there, our surface low is north of St. Louis, and there's the trailing band of showers and storms down through Arkansas, Louisiana, and eastern Texas. And we stay dry tomorrow. We uh, will not mention any chance of rain during the day. Tomorrow night at midnight, here comes the band of showers and storms. I still think our window looks good. 6 o'clock tomorrow evening through 6 o'clock Saturday morning. That's the main chance of showers and storms. Now, there's some pretty decent dynamic support, but instability very lacking. This is the GFS projected CAPE values at midnight tomorrow night. And you can see hardly any over North Alabama, just a little bit down south. So hopefully that will prevent a major severe weather problem, but you can see some decent uh, zero to one kilometer helicity values. That's the veering of the wind with altitude in the lowest one kilometer. And sometimes those can be responsible for rotating up drafts. So you bet we'll be watching that carefully. Uh, but again, I just don't think it'll be a major severe weather issue. And then by midday Saturday, it's all gone. So the showers should end early Saturday morning. Sky becoming partly sunny during the afternoon. Sunday, beautiful day. Sunny, warm. A uh, good chance we'll see 80. Monday of next week, there's the new trough back in the northwestern states. Around here, we've got ridging, so even though dew points are coming up, I just don't think it rains much, if anything, at all Monday. Should be a warm day, a good chance we hit the low 80s. Tuesday, that big trough lifting up toward Canada. And really, we stay under ridging, so the chance of rain Tuesday would be pretty small. Uh, Wednesday of next week, the trough is up in Canada. And let's check on that decaying front. It's really north of here on Wednesday over Kentucky and Tennessee. And then Thursday of next week, it really doesn't move all that much, this latest run holding that front up north of Alabama. If that's the case, it won't rain much here. I still think it's got a good chance of drifting farther south, considering the fact that it's still April. So I still think despite that, we'll leave in a pretty good chance of showers and storms at the end of next week. There's a look at uh, Friday, the 25th, and that looks pretty wet. So no doubt, we think the better chance of showers and storms next week will come out there toward the end of the week. And severe weather should not be a big problem. Quick peek at Saturday the 26th if you're trying to plan something for that date. At this point, looks pretty wet with that stall front hanging around. Still got a good-looking trough showing up out there around the uh, 30th of April, the end of the month. And if that's right, that looks uh, wet, stormy perhaps. And then the end of the forecast period, May 3rd, westerly shifting a little north. And that looks relatively benign, but again, 
confidence in a specific solution that far out is always rather low. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.